Hey everyone, this video I'm going to be teaching people who have sensitive eyes how to put on black eyeliner on their lower lash line, upper lash line, waterline, and tie line. I hope you guys find this video helpful and let's get started. Right now I have my foundation, my powder, uh, my concealer, my uh, blush, contour, a highlight, and I have a neutral eyeshadow on you probably can't really tell um i have a neutral eyeshadow on here it's let's see it's physicians formula metallic canyon and it's this color right here i have that on my lid and then i put this max factor and i think the color is called buff it matches my skin tone i have that um, up here and underneath my eyes and you're gonna want to put an eyeshadow on um, up here underneath your eyes and on your lid that way you don't have transfer and that's when the eyeliner or mascara leaves black marks on your eyes um, okay so let's get started first what I do is I take a jumbo eyeshadow pencil this is um, milk and it's by NYX it's just a jumbo white eyeshadow pencil. And I'll put that on my waterline. And if you don't get it, like if you mess up and you get it on your lower lash line, that's fine because you're going to be putting on black mascara there too. So make sure that you load this up. Like that. Yeah, that looks kind of creepy. So set that down to the side. Then what you're going to do is take up um, your eyeliner or your pencil um, eyeshadow brush. This one is from Urban Decay. It's just a small pencil brush. It's stiff and it's domed. Um, you're going to take that and then any color of black eyeshadow. This is Ulta. It's called Galaxy. You're going to load up your brush. Blow or tap off any excess. And what you're going to do is pull down your eye again, and you're just going to smear it over that. Now, I have contacts, so some of the black eyeshadow or the milk eyeshadow stick will transfer on to my um, contacts but it won't stay there all day it'll eventually come off Just make sure that you end up covering up all the white parts. Okay, just like that. Now, by putting um, the eyeshadow pencil and the black eyeliner on the water line that's going to absorb the water so you'll get um you'll have that black water line there all day which is really hard to get so um that's the point of that now what you need to do is take your just whatever black eyeliner you have i have ulta um, automatic eyeliner long lasting and waterproof if you have a pencil or one of these sticks or whatever, just take any kind of black eyeliner that you have. 
and we're gonna line the upper lash line And I like mine to be a little thick, but you can have yours whatever length you want it to be. Okay, and then make sure you always connect the bottom to the top. And then just go over and do your bottom lash line. Okay, just like that. Now what we're going to do is go back over our eyeliner with the black eyeshadow. Kind of smooth out those lines. And if you have a lot of fallout, that's okay. Because we'll just take a brush and brush that all away. Okay, and since I have sensitive eyes, uh, when I lift up to do my tight line, which is this little flap of skin under here, I can't do it because it's too sensitive and it tickles a lot. It makes my eyes run. So by putting uh, the eyeshadow onto your waterline, it's going to transfer up and it's going to, um, throughout the day, line that tight line up there. So that's an easy way to do this. Now, in 10 or 15 minutes, you may have to reapply the black eyeshadow onto your waterline just because uh, most of the eyeshadow is going to be going up to your tight line. So you're going to have to reapply that, but you should only have to reapply it once or twice a day. Um, so if you have fallout, like I do, I don't know if you can see that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... One of these skunk brushes has the white on the top, flat top, and I'm going to load it up with my pressed powder that I use, and I'm just going to wipe away the fallout. All done. Perfect. Okay, so that is the eyeliner part, and then I'm just going to show you guys how I do um, my eyelashes. So I'm going to put an eyelash curler, just your regular eyelash curler on there, hold for 10 seconds. And the other side. Be careful not to pinch yourself because it really hurts. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to be using Hard Candy's 1000 Lashes for my mascara. And it has this um, woven brush and it has little fibers in there to make it appear like you have more lashes. I'm going to go ahead and apply that now.
<laughs> I dropped it. And I really like this mascara. It's really nice. It gives you a lot of volume and a lot of length. And we're all done. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. You can subscribe to me on YouTube. Um, I'm welcome to any comments that you might have. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash theamandaisrael. You can email me any questions at theamandaisrael at yahoo.com. You can also follow me on jamierl.net. I'll be checking that website every day. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy your sultry eyeliner look throughout the day. See ya.